Hi, I'm Joe James, and in this video, we're going to learn to convert an array list to an array in Java and back again. And as usual, in all of my videos, I post all the code on my GitHub site, and I post a link down below so you can go download the code if you want to try it out. So let's take a look at the code here in Java. We'll start out with a main class, and we set up a string with my dog ate my homework and you can see there are spaces between each word and also a semicolon there so let's try to do some splitting on this so we'll set up a string array this is the result that we're going to get back when we use the split method when we split um, a string by anything we're going to get back a string array so I'll call the string array SS whereas the original string is S and we're going to split it at spaces. That means everywhere it finds a space in here, it's going to take out the space. It's going to give us everything to the left of it, and then the first word to the right of it. So, and then we'll we'll print out the array after that, the resulting array. So let's save this, compile it, and take a look at the run output. So, and as you'd expect here, what we get back is. Um, the items array separated by commas. As you can see, the semicolon there is attached to the word homework because we're only looking for spaces in this test, right? So that is the straightforward, simple way to do it. There are a couple other issues, though. So um, if you want to split at the semicolon, we can take a look at how that works. We'll run that. And we can see that it did indeed split it into a two-item array. We can see my dog ate my homework is the first item, and can I turn it in tomorrow is the second item. So it split it at the semi semicolon. That worked fine. However, it's a little trickier if you want to split at a decimal or a period. Let's say you want to split sentences. Uh, that gets a little hairier because there are special characters. What we're actually passing in looks like just a space or a semicolon, but Java sees this argument here inside the parentheses as a regular expression. So in regular expressions, there are all these reserved characters for the regular expression. If you're familiar with regular expressions, if you're not, just be aware that any of these is going to require you to escape out of it. So if I just want to split a decimal, uh, I have to put in two backslashes here to escape that, to tell Java that I actually want the decimal and that the decimal doesn't mean something else. So let's split this number, it's a numerical string, uh, into, it looks like three different things, right? We're not going to split it to hyphen. Let's save that. We'll compile it over here. And note that if we take out, this works fine because of the backslashes. If we take out those backslashes, we'll either get an error or we'll basically get no result back. And you can also include multiple split characters. Oh, that's why I put the hyphen in there. So we can, uh, we can split at either period or hyphen. And the trick here is to put inside the parentheses and quotation marks, you put square brackets. And then inside those square brackets, you put whatever characters you want to split at. So you can put you know, three or four different punctuation characters or space or whatever you want. And it's reading those literally. So there's no need for quotation marks around each item uh, or spacing or commas between them. You just list out the characters that you want to split out and that'll work. So let me save this, compile and run it. And you can see the result there. The last one, we got uh, basically all four numbers split apart and including the split at the hyphen. So that wraps up this video on how to split strings in Java at a particular character. If this video is helpful for you, please click the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.